my beautiful crafty friends. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am Katya and I do all kinds of crafty things on here from paper arts to polymer clay to other mixed media and random stuff. Whatever I feel like doing at the time. <laughs> so today we are going to be making some cards. I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use patterned paper to create some gorgeous cards without a ton of effort. Um, I will be using my own paper collection called Watercolor Rainbow. Um, you can tell that I've used quite a bit of it already. Um, this is what I have left of it. And it is available in my Etsy shop if you want to go check that out. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. In the collection I have three different sizes of the papers that you can use. So these ones are already sized perfectly for cards. So I've taken one at random. I am going to turn it over and I am going to draw on the back. I'm just going to kind of create a mosaic and it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm just going to kind of cut it apart in random designs. Sure, that looks good. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So literally just drawing lines at random. So now I'm going to cut in, like inside the lines, you wanna leave a good quarter, or at least an eighth of an inch of space. Okay, and I'm going to kind of place them on my table in the way that I'm cutting them. So I've cut inside that line and now I'm going to get rid of that little in-between bit. And again, I'm going to cut about an eighth of an inch inside that line. You could even go almost a quarter inch and then kind of place that one nearby and then so you want to keep track of where the pieces are and then I'm cutting out like cutting on the lines and getting rid of that piece because we want there to be a space in between each of these and then cutting off the excess. So I'm just gonna continue doing that with the rest of the pieces. Okay, once you've got all your pieces cut out, cut a piece of black cardstock or a dark colored cardstock um, to four by five and a quarter. And then we are going to flip each of these over and glue them onto our black cardstock. I'm actually going to take a piece of press and seal and just press down on all of these and then flip it over so I know which way they are supposed to go. Because uh, I've already gotten confused on this one. Uh, which way did this one go? <laughs> okay, perfect. So I'm going to continue to place these on, glue them onto my black cardstock. You want to make sure you leave a space because we're going to cut them out with a little tiny black border. The corner pieces um, I'm putting right to the corners so they'll only have a border on uh, the one side but the ones in the center will have the border all the way around. So I'm going to do my corner pieces first and then everything else will fit inside, leaving a space around them. And we're gonna create a super cool mosaic. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of my pieces onto my black. All right, now if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that. It looks cool just like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut in between each of these and I'm going to glue them. Oh, this one's not glued down. Oh, a couple of them aren't glued down. Um, I'm going to cut in between them and then place them onto a white 
card base. So there is, uh, they're bordered by both black and then by white. Now make sure that the glue goes right to the edges. I'm kind of smoothing it with my finger. Oh, which way did this go? Oh shoot. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm going to cut all of these apart once again and then put them onto a white card base. So here's an example of what we're going to be doing. I just did diamonds in this case. And this time I went a little bit more random on the shapes. Okay, so I'll cut all of these out and then try to keep them in the same... You can even adhere them as you cut them if that is easier to keep track of them. Okay, so now we adhere them down onto a white card base in this order. <laughs> okay, so I've got my four corners. Now I can put the rest of the pieces kind of where they belong. Okay, once you've got them all down, you probably want to put it under something heavy for a few minutes to let it fully adhere. Okay, and while that's drying, I'll move on to the next card. We're going to create something that looks like that with embossing powder. So I'm going to take one of the pieces of patterned paper. I'm going to use a Versamark pen. Um, if you don't have a pen, you can always use a paintbrush and a Versamark um, ink pad. So I'm just going to outline the flower petals. And you can't see it right now, which is, um, you're just going to have to trust that it's there. <laughs> and just try to remember where you've done and where you haven't. If you hold it up to the light, you can usually tell where you have and have not done. Okay. I think I got them all. Okay, now I'm just going to grab a piece of copy paper and some gold embossing powder and just sprinkle my embossing powder all over my piece. Okay, lift it up and tap it off. And now you can see exactly where the embossing powder is. Okay, put the excess back into your container and now we can heat set it. And there you go. And now we can just add that onto a piece of gold cardstock and then onto our card base. Super easy and super pretty. I'm just going to add a Tim Holtz uh, sentiment on there. I love these snarky sentiments. They crack me up so much. So I'm just going to put that on there as well. And then it is done. Oh, I already have some adhesive on there. When I'm card making, I'll do things like with these sentiments, I backed about 20 of them in black cardstock and put uh, the adhesive on there already just so when I want to, they're all ready to go. Okay, and there we go, card number two. For the third card, I am going to uh, use this uh, piercing die on a piece of cardstock and then I'm going to cut out 
this die. These are both um, ones that I got on uh, Amazon, so they don't. I don't know if they have a name. They were no-name ones. Uh, so I'm going to cut this out and then layer them together just for a white on, like a tone on tone, a white on white background. Okay. Okay, so there is that. Now I've taken one of the cut aparts from the collection and fussy cut around it and then backed it on black cardstock. And now I'm just going to fussy cut around it again with a little bit of that black showing. I really like the look of the, the black border. Um, I think it just makes it really pop. And I mean, you don't have to have the black border, but um, I just really, really like it. And um, a little fussy cutting tip. If you're not into fussy cutting, um, I tend to ink the edges of my fussy cutting and that hides some of the imperfections that you might have uh, done while you were fussing cutting an image because I'm definitely not super adept at it. It is not my favorite thing to do but I also find that going from different angles helps. Also smaller scissors also help but uh, my smaller scissors have bit the dust so I need to get a new pair. And turning your paper instead of the scissors also tends to help a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and now I'm going to trim this down just a smidge and back it on black cardstock as well. And then place this on top and then add a sentiment and bada bing bada boom. Okay, so that is card number three. Here is another example of that one. Our fourth card is just simple layering. I've taken a piece of white cardstock and used this, it's just a piercing die, it doesn't actually cut, it's just a piercing die. Okay, so I've taken that and pierced a piece of white cardstock and then I backed it on a blue. Okay, and then I've taken one of the tiny little cut aparts and backed it in white and then in blue. And then I've had this for ages. It's a printed vellum. So I got it, I just got it at the dollar store. But some of the patterns in this vellum, some of them are just colors, but then others are just these gorgeous vellum pieces. And honestly, I've been hoarding it for ages. I don't know why we do that. We get something we really like, and then we don't use it because we like it so much. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm such a hoarder of the things that I really like, and it takes me forever to use them, um, which is the silliest thing ever, but it, it, truth. Um, but I'm using it today. Comment down below if you are one of those people, because I, I can't be alone. I hope I'm not alone. <laughs> so uh, for this one, I'm going to be using just this green vellum that has like a tiny little kind of checkered. And I'm going to put adhesive along the whole thing. And then adhere it to my card base. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this blue bit with the pierced white panel. So I mean it's just very basic layering but it's so effective when you have like multiple layers of different kinds of things happening. I just think it looks really really cool and it doesn't take a lot of effort to do. Okay so then there is our little cut apart and then we just need a sentiment. So again, I'm going to use one of these uh, snarky small talk because I just love them. I think they're hilarious. I think I'm going to back it on a different color. I'm going to back it just on one of the scrap pieces from the collection. And I think I might pop this up onto um, a little bit of foam tape. Okay, and that goes right down here. There we go, and here is another example of 
that same kind of thing. Like, this is hilarious. Starting tomorrow, whatever life throws at me, I'm ducking it so... I'm ducking so it hits someone else. <laughs> like, come on, that's funny. Uh, so that is card number four. Card number five is the simplest of all, and I am literally going to back um, one of these pieces. I'm going to ink it up a little bit first. Um, I'm just using whatever ink is left on my dauber. Um, I believe this is black soot, but just to give it like the tiniest of borders, just so you don't see the white core of the paper. Okay, and then I'm going to take a piece of foam and I'm going to adhere this foam in behind just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm just using this foam in particular because I'm not a big fan of this color. So, so I'm using it up. Okay, so I'm just, uh, it's just fun foam and I'm just going to adhere it onto the back of my piece of pattern paper just to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, and that's going to go down onto my card base. Just like that. And now to add just a little bit extra, I'm going to use some glossy accents. And just put the glossy accents in certain areas. I'm going to do these gemstones. And I'll do the flower. And maybe a couple of these leaves up here too. They don't have to be perfect. It's just to give it a little bit of shine and dimension. Okay, and we're going to set that aside to dry. Here's another example of that one with just the flowers having the glossy accents. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love it so much. Okay, to recap, we've got card idea number one, which is mosaic. Card idea number two, which is the selective embossing with the embossing pen. Card three was the cut aparts with the pierced and then die cut on top. Card idea four was just simple layering with some patterned vellum. And card five was just a very simple using the paper as it is and adding some glossy accents. That's all you need to do. This paper collection just does the work for you. <laughs> So if you'd like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And the link to this paper collection will be in the description box below. And yeah, I think that they turned out amazing. I love every single one of them, actually. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often that I love every card that comes out of a session, but this time I am super stoked on them all. So I hope that you love them all and that you will go check it out. And I love you very much and I will see you again very soon. Big hugs. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye!